So now we're gonna take a look at the book, actually. You know, I have two books. Racing the Rain. Sweet dog, she said to me. Sweet dog. She returned to her preparation, pausing and only occasionally to rub my neck with her bare foot is as she passed, since which wasn't all that much, but meant a lot to me anyway. I reached to outreach out to Eve and she responded a connection was made. Danny was right. We are we are the creator of our own destiny. <sighs> Chapter 9 A couple a couple of years after we moved into the new house something very frightening happened earlier that that spring Danny had gone to France for a for for a formula renal testing program he did ex, ex, exceptionally well in this program because it was in France in the spring when it when when it rains we had we when he told E about it he said that one of the scouts who attend these things approaching after the session and said can you drive as fast on a dry tracks tracks as you can any as you can get on wet ones and then he looked him straight in the eye and replied simply try me the scout offered Danny a tryout, tryout. And Danny went away for two weeks, testing and returning, attuning, practicing. It was a big deal. He did so well. They offered him a seat in the endurance race at Work Watkins Glen. Yeah. When he first left, when he when he first left for New York, we all grinned at each other because we couldn't wait to watch the race on Speed Channel. And Zoe, who I love very much and would not hesitate to sacrifice, sacrifice my own life to protect, would cheer and hop into her little race car they kept in the living room. Then she would have drive around in circle till we threw we were all dizzy then throw her our hands into the air proclaim I am the champion. I got so caught in the in the excitement I was doing AI dog things like digging up the lawn balling Balling myself up and then stretching out on the floor with my legs straight and my back arch and letting them scratch my belly and I chase and chasing thing I chase. It was the best times really that it was the worst of times. Race day came, I woke up very early feeling awful. She had a pain had she had a pain so terrible that she stood in the kitchen vomiting violently into the sink. She vomited as she were turning herself inside out. I don't know what 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 was wrong with, with me. Enzo does she said and she rarely spoke to me kindly like that. Like how Danny talks to me as if I am his true friend, his soulmate. The last time we she had talked to me like that was when Zoe was born. Was born. By this time, she did talk to me like I was her soul mate. She said, "Oh, she asked, what was going, what, what, what was, what is wrong with me?" Question. She knew I couldn't, I couldn't understand, I couldn't answer, I, and I felt totally frustrated because I had an answer. I knew that what was wrong, but I had no way to tell her. 
So I push at her high thighs with my muscle. I nose in and bury my face between her legs and I wave there afraid. I feel like something, I feel like someone's crushing my skull. She said I couldn't respond. I had no words. There was nothing I could, I could do. Someone crushing my skull, she repeated. Quite quickly, she gathered something while I watched. She shoved Zoe clothes in a bag and some of her own and two brushes, all that, all so fast. She rose uh, Zoe and I stuffed her little kid feet into her little little kid a sneaker and banging the door slam that bang the door slam shut then snick and snick the dead bolt was drawn and they were gone and i wasn't gone i was there i was still there that was chapter eight and nine of racing in the rain chapters eight and nine uh, race in the rain.